Hello and welcome to Royal Gist. Meghan's family interview branded disgusting as viewers switch off in fury. The Marcus family explosive interview on the Duchess of Sussex has sparked outrage with viewers switching off in protest. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video, consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Meghan Markle's and Strange family has lifted the lead on the Duchess of Sussex and viewers at home are not impressed, with one watcher branding the exclusive interview disgusting. In a seven new spotlight exclusive that Thomas Markle Sr., half brother Thomas Markle Jr., and half sister Samantha Markle were grilled on their relationship with the Duchess, which has become increasingly toxic following their outspoken remarks to the press, sharing treasured childhood videos of Meghan, including never before seen footage of the Hollywood star as her high school's homecoming queen. The Marcus accused her of swapping her regal role for the full-time job of hurting her sickly father and allegedly lying about her life before marrying into the monarchy. Viewers at home have been left shell-shocked, with one Twitter user posting, Dear Channel 7, the special attacking Meghan Markle is disgusting and unnecessary. There are many reasons daughters cut contacts with their families and most revolve around behavior and harm that one should not tolerate. Groovy for you to intervene in her private choices. Another a viewer trashed the interview on Twitter, questioning the ethics of running it in the first place, saying, I'm looking for credibility. Please advise the public what you paid for these interviews. Be transparent. Oh, does that not come with responsible journalism? Switching off now, a third user appeared more sympathetic to the Markle's plight, tweeting, Just simply being a member of Markle's family was enough for Meghan to use them and destroy their reputation so Meghan could make money off them and manipulate Harry. She has also done the same to the royal family. The interview contained a number of bombshell allegations with the Markle's accusing Meghan of lying about her life before marrying into the monarchy. Responding to claims made by Meghan in her opera and Netflix specials, Samantha Markle hit back at a half-sibling over what she alleged is a co-dependent and toxic relationship with Prince Harry. Meghan's estranged father also makes desperate plea to his daughter as he attempts to mend their broken relationship from his deathbed. At one point during the interview, Thomas said he was suddenly thrown out and being a hero to his daughter Meghan. In a desperate attempt to reconnect, he told Channel 7, She loved me, I'm a hero, and suddenly I was thrown out. Marco added, I wish that we could sit down and talk. I wish we could work out our differences. Despite being billed as the last documentary ever, one royal commentator very much doubts the Marco family's latest interview will be the last time to speak to the media. Of course, they are not going away, celebrity PR guru Carla Spade said, before adding that they don't appear to want to let that go anytime soon. Spade also warned that the Marco family's ongoing relationship with the press will be taking its toll emotionally on the Duchess of Sussex. Imagine if it was our family, it was your family staging photos and milking your wedding and name for money. That kind of damage lasts a lifetime.